uh, about me, about my work that I'm talking now, was a problem because I was not able to complete my project. And for this, uh, was uh, even worse because uh, it didn't work in Africa. It worked in Europe and there it couldn't do, it didn't have in that, in that period any business that it could manage. And so um, it was uh, after uh, some months without money. And, uh, and this, uh, from uh, the topic that I'm talking uh, today here, um, is interesting to see how things changed in this village and in his social status when he was not able to provide any more uh, food or, or any way support his family and his village. Uh, as, I told, as I told you before, if you're a migrant that uh, you, you go in Europe and after you are not able to return to something uh, to help the people at home, uh, you are under a kind of judgment from the community that is very, very hard, very, very harsh. And now I would like to, of course I was not in Africa in period, but I was able uh, to record with this uh, is a conversation, our conversations by phone, in which he explained his situation in that period. And, um, and it is possible uh, to hear now that his uh, 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 condition changed very much in that period. So now I will play the clip in a... Kako što više tiško za mene da se gotoviš na filmu, osobeno više tiško za Isa, zaradi to što biše zagledan v Afrika in nemaše nikakav predmet na rabota. In je mnogo interesno kako se promeni na godinu socijalen status, zaradi to što ne može li na godinu nikako da doprinesela za semestrate in da zarabotova. Pa može da uspeva da snimamo en telefonski povik so njego, sega za vreme na pandemijeta in može da slušno. Zdaj, 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 so invited many guests and there was a, a very big party and uh, it was a celebration of this person. Actually, I'll show you two clips. The first clip is a ceremony related to what we call the Kirstev Katamo. For a new baby in the village of Kirstev Katamo, where he made a big deal and for three days he was able to be able to be able. So we are here on the top and after what's happening with the COVID. Can you see the contrast of the first and the first one? So it was so joyful, so, so joyful. That, that day was my day. That day was my real day. Yeah.
Добре, добре, но мисля, кога документите и кога се отварят културно границите, не му дозволуват да се врати во Европа, затоа што не му биле веќе валити на италијански документи. Промотава? Да, мајте се. Хай, хаборио. Nah, it's a very hard, very hard for me. What are you now? I'm in the car, I'm inside my room. It's very, very hard for me. I don't know what to do, what to do. I don't know why this thing is even keeps so long like this. You can find some uh, any kind of work uh, in, uh, in the car in Senegal. No, because uh, it is not allowed. Normally in Gambia and Senegal you can work even you don't have permit, but because of this coronavirus thing still, anything you want to do, you must bring coronavirus certificate, you go to hospital, you make coronavirus certificates, then you go to police, they give you permit to work also. And that one is almost 150 euros you pay for the corona test. Very, very expensive. Serious. So for myself, totally, I don't have much in my house. Um, I cannot take care of the family because I don't have much in my house. In my position. Like if I go to Freeman also, this is must this thing, this must be fighting because my kids are going to school every day in the morning, they will ask me money and they will fish money also. They think if you are from Europe you have everything. So this one I'm going away from those people. And the people also talk too much. Talk about that he cannot go back to Europe and how that uh, his, his paper is spoiled. They talk many, many, many things. See. I can't say since I entered this, since I have this problem, I don't go to Paris. See. 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 So, so, so worried. So, 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 so worried. He's always asking me, do you hear from Mauro? Do you hear from your lawyer? Do you hear from the embassy? Do you know when are you going? Mauro is a very big disappointment for my life. You see all those family, all those people in my family, they are, they are relying on me. So, now I cannot even help myself, neither help somebody. This is a very, very big problem for me. Mm -hmm. I help people, but I don't have any people to help me in Africa. Even food drives I buy for everybody in our compound. But now I cannot do this. Documents are very, very important. Very, very important. This is a strong contrast. My question is on the letter of the letter. It is a very difficult question. 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 Наутро, кога децата молат в училище, им обарат пари или храна, не има на што им даде. И жена ма постоянно под притисок и го прашува дали се слушна с амбасадата, с адвокатите, с Мавро или с Обилор, кои што може да им помогне. И тој се сфаќа дека исто така не може да работи тамо ништо, затоа што барат 15 евра за секој тест, што треба го прави секој ден, за да дојде на работното место. Така што нема опции и били дека, иако тој помага на многу луѓе, во моментот нема никој во цела Африка што може не е да ми помага.
migration, in particular retard migration, circular migration, it is not something that uh, is about uh, one person, that is something that is about uh, a family, a community and many people that put a lot of pressures, uh, pressures on you. And uh, it, is never, it is not even a private fact, but it is a public thing, because when you return to your homeland, to your country in Africa, people are watching, judging you, you are like something under a test, and you can pass this test, or you can fail this test, and uh, here you have seen uh, both cases, what uh, can happen. Тук <говори> И uh, оно што се обидовте е приказ на еден, една личност која што прво го поминува тестот одлично, па потоа во паѓа, поради условите во ковид. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Okay. If you have any questions, please. Да, ако има прашање, може да прашање. I just want to ask you, for how long did you been recording this film? Allora, in Africa for almost uh, three months. Three months? Yeah, yeah. After, and when was that? Which part of the year? Uh, uh, 2018. Okay. Yes. 2018, after a short, uh, just one month in Finland, in Helsinki. We didn't see uh, the videos from Helsinki. And uh, what uh, I need now is uh, more shooting from Finland because I need uh, to show the kind of uh, work that uh, is uh, the main character is doing uh, in Finland to help people at home. Here we have seen uh, the homeland of this. Now I need uh, more footage about, uh, about uh, Finland where he's providing, uh, where he found uh, the money and the things to help people at home. So that is going to be another part of this or different one? Allora, the idea is this. My, my, my idea is, this, is to build a documentary made above all with a parallel editing okay. between Africa and Finland. Okay, and so even, comparation. Yes, so the, even from the, the visual point of view uh, is quite striking, this contrast, because we have Africa and the cold uh, snowy Finland, uh, Helsinki. And uh, I just need uh, to go in Finland again. Uh, if COVID, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, well, I'm looking forward to see that. Yeah, that's good. Но не достигаат снимки од Финска каде што главниот ликар работи, за да може да се направи а, паралелна приказна, кога што ќе може полесно да се воочи контрастот помеѓу она што се случува во Африка и како тој сушно заработува во Финска. Да, јас се, се причини други прашања да има да. Да, повеќе. Да, сте биле долго време со мигрантите, па ми интересира дали Може би сте ги прашаме зошто не емигрираат, на пример, на истокот, Саудиска Арабија, Емиратите, каде што исто така имаат можност да зимаат големи плати финансиска придобивка за да не ли, да го издржуваат семејството во Африка. Uh, for example, the Emirates or Saudi Arabia, uh, where they also can uh, achieve better financial stability. I don't have any information about the East, uh, <coughs> like uh, the countries that you said, but I know, for example, that uh, they prefer don't go in uh, East European countries like, uh, like uh, Poland or Slovakia, 
because the welfare there is uh, not so positive like for example in Finland or in other Western European countries. They think about this, they share information about uh, the, besides the best countries that can uh, help them but also find the world there and after uh, they, they go where they think it is better and uh, if they think that in some countries it is not possible to find the world or the country will not help you if they don't go but about, about uh, the country is um, in Middle East that, that you said uh, they never talk about it, so I don't know. The concrete countries that you mentioned have no information. But there is also the fact that they have been able to say that the countries in South Africa are able to spread information about which country has a good system, educational or educational, or where they can do the best work. Затоа Луѓето на Африка ги избегнуваат источните, источна европските држави како Полска и Словачка. Па што не за европските источни европски. Да, а за за истокот за за истокот за што на вистина си стандардот е високи. Мислам дека може да биде и среден и среден и близок. На близкиот исток. Не, не речеа дека нема информации за тоа. Тоа сака би се дека ги прашал. Мигрантите, зашто таму не, зашто не, например, и религиски, и на било кој друг начин, поблиски им се тие народи таму, од колку европејците. Вот а здесь. The lady is suggesting that uh, maybe they should do a better research, that maybe uh, countries from the, the Middle East are closer to them in terms of uh, religion and other cultural um, Traits, but uh, yeah, but she's okay. just wondering if you've heard about this. Already. Okay, so uh, she meant uh, uh, when they um, leave home, uh, they go to list. Okay, this is uh, another different thing. So I uh, thought that uh, she meant when they arrive in Italy, for example, because they spread in different European countries. Uh, okay. And why they didn't go to list, for example, from Italy? Uh -huh. uh, so my answer was about that. But okay. from West Africa, I can tell you, I can see this. They came to Europe because there are some rules, established, established routes that are used many, many times by migrants to reach, to reach Europe. These routes are in part legal, bus, for example, legal bus, but in large part illegal, the smugglers, and they are dangerous. But still, there are these routes that they know and they are very well used. And so they follow the, this, uh, this kind of system that is very, very strong. So they follow the herd? Yes. Okay. Uh, you said that you asked why people who are from Palestine, which are Africans from Palestine, are from Italy, and they have documents there. Why do they not migrate to the close country? Not directly, why do they not migrate? Yes, I agree. So you said that concretely, they follow the whole path and that they are the most important. Но луѓе сакаат да мигрираат токму во Европа поради тие вредности што им се пропагирани. И се да се миграти, да, да, да. Така и и представено ми е дека полесно да да стигнат до до таму, значи вика делумно делот патот до таму е легален, дела не легален. Доста е опасно секако да се стигне, но дека нели таму знаат па таму одат. Робилото се поедно. Uh, I mean, I just want to add something. If you cannot, uh, all of you can notice that in the movie, the guy from Africa was speaking very good English. But that's me. Those people in Africa, they've been told from babies rather to speak English or French. So they, that's why they immigrated in Europe. Then they haven't been told to speak Ar Arabic or another language. This is another reason why. Yeah, it's probably a limitation. Oh, I think it's not true. I was in Dubai. It's a lot of I number, there is not. a lot of number of Africans also there. there. So I don't know what is this. this but you know, it's getting more interesting. Yeah, so. yeah. A lot of number in Saudi Arabia also from Africa. So it's, it's not sense actually. To continue this subject, Gambia is uh, in very different kind of uh, vertical uh, in West Africa and uh, it is uh, a post-colonial state that are special post-colonial. So why they 
he he goes to Finland. Okay, because uh, this is a good question. Yes. Because uh, he left uh, his own country in the year 2014 when the dictator of uh, Gambia, Yaya Zane, was still in charge. Okay? And um, the UDP, United Democratic Party, that maybe you have seen that he has this t-shirt, it is the Liberal Party of Gambia, um, was a party that was uh, led by Daraboy, a relative of him, because Daraboy is a big family that were against the dictatorship of Yaya Zane that was in Gambia. And uh, because this uh, connection, this uh, relationship of um, kinship, sorry, I think you that word, uh, during that period he uh, was persecuted uh, um, by the soldiers but, uh, of the dicta dictator uh, Yaya Zang. He was tortured by, by the army because uh, they thought uh, that uh, his boy sent some information to the opposition, to the leaders of the opposition, due, due to his surname, the same. And so he was uh, forced uh, to, to escape from Gambia. The story actually it is uh, the story of a true refugee. And uh, if you now you can think, but uh, why after he retired? Because of course now the the dictatorship is not in Gambia, and there is uh, more or less a democracy, and the leader is uh, Adama Barrow. Mm, so the political situation changed uh, in Gambia, and uh, after that. Uh, he uh, was able to retire to his country and to meet again with his family. Now the situation is not uh, still all okay because of course there are the different groups, the families that uh, are still uh, in war, I can say, and so it is not 100% uh, safe, safe for him. But still uh, it is enough safe to retire and to stay in his village and uh, where there is his family due to the change of political situation, the change in the political situation. Значи, главният двигател е класичен пример на Бегале, защото той ги е напреща Гамбия в 2014-та, кога тогашният диктатор го обвинува дека е толшник за опозицията, значи дека издава някакви информации, само поради неговото презиме. И токму така и той се сели в Африка, во мегю време ситуацията се подобрува, да е на власта. Друг човек, но Юта си още има немири, односно граѓаните сами да комунисират се во константна војна. Други прашања? Дека и малите прашања со нашите печалбери не ви текнуваат. Много тегло, ама да може да разборуваме. Има 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 да about cultural stock and how is the influence of the European values now when he is with the family, do they accept something from the promotion of uh, human rights or human rights something or changing in the tradition or something? Do you have something in the movie for that? For, uh, if you correctly, for, for uh, Such anthropological features, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it's anthropological. Uh, what exactly because these are changing of tradition, changing of the position ah, of the line. Ah, okay, I understand yeah. now. <laughs> yes, uh, this is an uh, interesting thing because uh, I can say that, uh, for example, the life of Issa in Europe uh, it is between two worlds, of course, Africa and, um, and Europe, like uh, double identity and also. Phenomenon. And uh, it's a person that uh, is quite, uh, I can say, hospitalized, uh, Western. Uh, Western uh, Western, yes, uh, with the mentality, with the habit, use the things, uh, but in part it's still uh, African. So it is uh, possible to see, like in the same person, there are both traditions, uh, and uh, he's living in the both way. When he's in Europe, and also when he's uh, in Africa, and uh, he's bringing also in Africa a kind um, of mentality that is a uh, European mentality. For example, when I was in Africa with him, he complained often about how Africans are the things there. They are not sometimes very accurate, or the corruption is spreading. 
and uh, so um, he often complained about the situation, uh, after the situation, because uh, he often says that uh, his country can't develop that properly, also for this kind of African mentality, corruption and uh, and uh, things that are not uh, okay. Like for example, in this point of view, are in Europe. I don't know if I answered your question. No. Did you take take on a documentary about this? Uh, uh, about this, uh, uh, yes. Uh, just uh, in the life of this, uh, uh, it is possible to see, for example, uh, how he uh, still uh, have some uh, African uh, customs, of course, uh, in Europe.